I'm using the coin now for over three months and I want to give you a short update since many people watched my update after two weeks and a bit have changed. So I want to give you a short update on that. Also, I want to answer the questions that were asked down in the comments. Hi, I'm Aurin and I am German as you may heard in my accent. So the first question was how I'm using the Umlaute. It is quite easy since I'm using US keyboards already for over two years now. That's why I'm quite used to the control U and then the AOU uh, to have the umlaut. So the second question was regarding the wireless build and for him the wireless version was a bit more inconvenient regarding the batteries and the usage. He is kind of right I would say because at home I always use it wired. So this is because of the battery life and I don't want to charge it twice a week. But still I'm really glad that I built it wireless because in the office or on the go I prefer to have it wireless because then you can just put it in your bag connect to different devices and at home I'm use always using wired. That's why I also built the TRS cable and I'm really glad that I built it with the option to use it the one or the other way. If you plan to use it only at home or you are a bit tighter on the budget, I would rather build it wired because you can definitely save some money on the wired version because the microcontrollers like are half the price on the wired version. You don't need a battery. So this is like basically half of the the coin price. <laughs> yeah, I think I paid like 20 euros for the batteries and another 30 to 40 euros more for the microcontrollers. So it adds up quite fast and you can save at least 50 to 60 euros. One comment was regarding the metal ball and said you could also use some glue. Definitely you can use glue as well. I'm still glad that I used the metal ball because it is definitely more durable. Also, it feels good and it looks nice. I see his point that the metal ball is definitely a bit harder to do and the glue is definitely more accessible. And after three months, I definitely glad that I built the whole coin, but still I have a few dislikes, a few likes and one neutral point. So what I don't like is definitely a few of the key positions. Uh, for example, the shift is really inconvenient for the thumb under the hand. So it's always a trade-off between this small keyboard and the convenience of positioning. And also the price, I mean, 250 euros for such a small keyboard, quite expensive. All in all, I'm glad I built it, but still it is expensive. Uh, what I definitely like is that I am after three months at least the same speed as before. I would even say I'm faster than typing before, but more importantly, it is very natural for the hands, very natural for the shoulders. So it definitely removes some cramps or it removes some inconvenience. And because I'm a software developer and typing more than eight hours a day, it's definitely worth the investment to have a bit more of a convenience in typing and also investing in your health. Also, the split factor is really nice, not only for the shoulders, but also to put something in between. I'm thinking about buying a magic trackpad to put in between to save some space. And also because of the split, you can put a coffee mug in between, feels good to just grab the coffee. Yeah, the form factor. So if you're traveling and want to bring your keyboard, definitely this one is really small and really easy to pack. But also sometimes I just use the internal keyboard of the MacBook if I don't want to bring something. And definitely one thing that I'm getting asked quite often is, can you still type on a normal keyboard? And I would say yes. Since I type really often on the internal keyboard of the MacBook, I definitely did not uh, forget it and I can type nearly the same speed. Sometimes I mistype and I get remembered why I really enjoy the corn. This is also something that I didn't saw before. So if I'm typing on the split keyboard, it feels really good and really natural. And I didn't notice it until I type on the internal keyboard, how inconvenient and how unnatural the positioning of your hands is. So this is something I definitely underestimated. Also, as I mentioned, the TRS jack, I'm really glad that I put it in uh, because at home I use it always wired, sometimes wireless when I plug in the microphone for my videos uh, because this one is taking then the USB-C cable. But as I said, uh, at home I use it wired, on the go wireless. So this is my three month update on the coin. So if you have any different questions you want to have answered for the coin or the build in Europe or in Germany, uh, let me know down in the comments. I am also working on a video where I re-implement a Python server into Elixir. So if you are interested in the learnings from that or if you should learn Elixir in 2024, subscribe to not miss it out. Other than that, thank you for watching, happy coding and see you next time.